but we was told that the order was a fraud. Really? Yes. It's DDK and I'm back today with another video. Choose how to you for tuning in. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and smash the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and do not skip those ads. You see the title, you see the thumbnail, and no, this is not clickbait. Let's get into the story. Now, last night I received the order on an app called Dolly. Oh, we gonna put the order right there. The pickup place is the Black Luxury Living Design and Decor. It's a place in Milwaukee. We were supposed to pick up a couch and drive it to Orland Park, which is the suburb of Chicago. It is 104.6 miles, and we were going to receive a payment of $280. We're about to go ahead and pop our collar. Now, once you receive the order and you accept it, it's automatically going to send a message to the customer. The message says this, Hello, I'm the lead helper for your dolly on 3323, and I'll be bringing my assistant. Let me know if you have any questions. The customer said, okay, great. Then I said, hey, James, quick question. Is it going to be a business or a house? He said, to a house, I'm going to meet you and load it to my truck. Now, let me tell you guys this. We looked up the address for the drop-off place. The drop-off place is actually a Lowe's parking lot. So, this was the plan, Stan, to get these bands, man. I thought we'd be going to go to Milwaukee, pick up the couch, take the couch to the drop-off place, load it in his truck and leave and make 280 and get them G's, baby. So, what happened after that is I actually gave James a call. I called James, I said, hey, how you doing, James? My name is Jerome. I'm just trying to get an understanding of exactly what you're saying. And that's exactly what he explains to me. We're gonna pick up the order, we're gonna drop it off to him, we're gonna load it in his truck, and he's gonna deliver it to his house by himself, baby. And I ain't gonna have to do nothing, baby. So, the next day came and this is what happened. And just like that, we are here to pick up this couch, baby. Now hiring business hours. This joint says it's closed until 11 o'clock, baby. This joint is definitely closed. Um, let me get him a call. Sheesh, critical. I just want y'all to know it is critical. Black luxury living. Hey, how you doing, sir? I'm here to pick up a couch for a customer on the Dolly app, um, but no one is here. Um, his name is James M. I'm not sure of his last name, but his first name is James. Last name starts with the M. Our store hours are 12 to 6, so if you can call, if you, if you can reach out to him and have him contact. Okay. Will do. Right, thank thank you. you very much. Bye bye. You're welcome. Bye bye. As you guys just saw, the store was actually closed. So I called the number they had on the door and told them what was going on. And they said they've been calling James two to three, four times and he is not answering the phone. And he actually has to call and set up an appointment so we can do the pickup, baby. So I reached out to support. My business partner called support. We also sent them a message they was not answering. We did this two times a piece. I did it two times on my phone. She did it two times on her phone. And they finally answered. In the meantime, in between time, we was on the ground, baby. So guess what happened? James texted us good morning. I said good morning. I got to the store at 825 and they are closed. I called the number on the door and they said you have to call ahead of time to schedule a pickup. They do not open until noon today. I am currently on the phone with Dolly. He said I set the pickup for 11. You're way too early. Guess what I said? Hey, the app say 830. It says pick up at 830, drop off by 11. He said no, that's a big mistake. I called the lady at the store. She's coming in early. I'll pay you extra to wait. Now, at this time, I'm still waiting on Dolly to respond, baby. They ain't responding, baby. So I'm just sitting there waiting right at the store. I don't know what to do, baby. So he said he'll pay me extra to wait. So guess what I said? Guess, guess what I said next, baby? I said, how much? How much you talking, baby? He told me he will pay us an extra $200 to wait. Then this happened. I have an order. Do you work here, your owner? I'm the owner. Yeah, I have an order. Shut off the line, please. Oh, sorry about that. I have an order to pick up for James M. Um, through an app called Dolly. I was supposed to pick it up, but I know you guys didn't open till 11, but right. he on the app, it told me 8.30. So I've been waiting here since 8.30 to pick up the order because he messed up the timing on it. And I was wondering if it's possible for me to pick it up early, if it's okay with you. Well, we was told that the order was a fraud. Really? Yes. Are you serious? Yeah, so the guy was just just hustling. Oh, I didn't know that. So, I don't know what happened from here. Because he he has been writing me and everything. He said he'd give me an extra $200 to wait until 11 to pick up the order. So he never paid for it? Never paid for it. Oh, okay. So it was just a scam. Okay, well thank you very much sir, I appreciate your time. So you guys heard what the owner said. He said James 
was running a scam and he ain't paid them no bands, baby. He didn't pay for nothing. So guess what? We talked to support. Support said they're gonna send a message out to James and let him know he need to cancel the order. So in the meantime, in between, I guess what I say, hey, how much are we gonna get paid for this order? Because look, we drove all the way out here and we need to know how much money we about to get, baby. So guess what she trying to do, baby? She said we are gonna get paid half pay. And I know this, guess what? We had an order before that was canceled and we got full pay. So I said, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, hey, hold, hey, hold on. Last time this happened, we got paid full pay. Let's just say, hold on one second. Can I type on the computer? So yeah, it's not gonna be half pay. It's actually gonna be $241. Guess what I say? I holla, I need it. I need the whole 240, baby. Hey. I don't know what's going on. I don't even know how Dolly allows somebody to fit, finesse like that. I don't know. I don't know. Comment below and let me know what you think about the situation. But that's what happened. And we did get paid 241, so I ain't complaining. We maintain it. We keep on doing our thing. Now, that's the story and I'm sticking to it, baby. That's what happened, baby. Since you guys stay until this point in the video, guess what? I got another Dolly order, our first order we ever tried, baby. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. It's been a little skeptical with Dolly, but hey, comment below and let me know what you think. Let's go. So is I uh, take the elevators to get there? Yeah, yeah, should be able to get should be able to fit in the elevator, but uh, okay. I'll show you. Oh, okay. Um, what is, is this a dentist chair or something? It's actually it's a it's a gynecological chair. Oh. And, uh, the doctor who was in here before me mm -hmm. uh, used it. I, I don't need it. Right. Uh, and sorry about the timing. I have a no, it's plumber, a, a plumber at my house that oh. just uh, flooded this weekend. So. Oh my God, that's Very the worst. Good. So this is the chair. It's how heavy is it? It's pretty heavy. <laughs> oh. Okay. Is it just you today? Yeah, I brought my partner, but she's a girl, so I don't know. Okay. Let me see. I have you tilted up. Okay. Yeah, so we could take this off just so I can. You wanna maybe? Get yourself a little space and then tilt it up. Yeah. I just um, split it out in my office. So you got your little exercise in, I see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so should I lean it? I'm, don't uh, lean it on the side. Probably, probably on that side. It's fine, yeah. And if you can get way over. Yeah, actually, uh, yeah, I got to come off. Can you actually tilt it over? Tilt it which way? Tilt it your way. Oh, oh yeah. Space. You got it? Okay. Excuse me. So I'm put this on here. Okay. I just got myself into a world of mess. This thing is so heavy, it's all steel. And from the picture, it does not look like this at all, not even a little bit. It looks way different. On the picture, it looks like a little bitty chair. They can just, oh, we can just lift up and put it in the thing. Sheesh. It's a bump right there. Come on. <laughs> okay. Two thousand years later. If we, if you lift it up a little bit, I'll push it. Yep. Just push it so we can just get it over the hump. Yeah, that's heavy. Yes, it is. There it is. There you go. Put you back into it, man. <laughs> Sorry about that. I wish we could do it. Okay, let me uh, text him right now. Okay. No worries. Now, y'all saw what happened, baby. Hey, comment below and let me know. As you guys just saw, we were not able to deliver that order because that chair weighed over 400 pounds and he wasn't playing around, baby. Hey, in the picture right here. Oh, y'all see that picture? The picture does not look like it's that real. 
it was critical. The chair was made of full steel, but we did receive full pay for that order. We reached out to support, let them know what's going on. They say they don't even offer services for something that weighs that many pounds. And they won't play around, baby. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you are not subscribed, go on and smash the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and do not skip those ads. And like it tomorrow because we're getting back to the bag. Why are we getting back to the bag? Because 2023 is big bag season. We'll keep on giving a reason. I'll see you guys on the next one. We go on, we go on, we fooling. You already know in the DDK. And I'm on my way.